Welcome to Bum TV! Hey! Bo, 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 bo. Time for Sadie K with the band. Okay, Sadie K here with Sugary Tea or whatever they're called. What is it? Sugar Bee! Okay! I've got to say it, Donnie, you've got a fantastic physique. Do you work out? <laughs> dandy! Dandy! Yes, here they kick in now. Dandy! Dandy! <laughs> It's an acid jazz version of the old Led Zeppelin rocker song, but I think this is very special and I would definitely recommend it to you. Now it's Valentine's Day all too soon, possibly the most depressing day of the entire year. My advice, get wasted, get yourself down to One Nation in Tottenham, where they're advertising one love, one heart, one vibe, one nation and one bucket. Should be enough to get those heads banging. Okay. I'm here at the back entrance of the Brixton Fridge, home to musical greats such as Roy Ayers, Squeeze, and now Blowfly. Blowfly appeared on the show last year, an underrated, underpaid, and underloved trio of nobodies from Hounslow. Since then, they've got a deal, they've got a following, and they've all got serious haircuts. Tonight, they're headlining a new indie rock night, Roxy Motel, here at the Fridge in Brixton. But has the sweet smell of success gone to their heads? Stand by your band. <laughs> here with Margot Dredd, best known for his big hit of last summer, Fat Bottom Girls. Margo, okay, Margot, Margot. Now, this is actually what we're leading on to, because I was half expecting to interview some Australian transvestite tonight with a name like Margot, <laughs> but that actually shows no, 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 my no, bad no. understanding of the no. Jamaican language. Can it's you tell like us what it means? Pat for being like slim and skinny like me and so you, you know? Can we have a look at your bottom? I just want to point out his little lucky mascot here. She's absolutely gorgeous. The next song's going to be about love. Here they are. <laughs> Let's go meet the band! Oh, Phil, how did you think the gig went? Uh. <laughs> Were you happy with it? Yeah, it was cool, it's cool. It was cool. What's your name? Simon. All right, Simon. Did you like Blade Fly? Yeah, I thought they were great. Yeah. Wicked. How many marks out of ten? I'll give them a nine. Woo! There's a lot of confusion, in my mind at least, over the exact meaning of the term indie. For instance, some people have said that indie rock is actually a pseudonym for crap rock. What do you have to say to them? Oh, it's not true. It's not true. Are you sure about that, Phil? There was a flicker of doubt. Okay. What did you think of Blowfly? I thought they were right, considering, do you know what I mean? Considering? Considering what? Well, considering they're a new band and they've got a little bit of a way to go, they've obviously been to their ears and run their ears. Do you know what I mean? Are you in the music business? Yes, I am. How many miles out of ten would you give Blowfly then? Oh, de definite sort of six and a half. So you think the potential's there? No. John? John, is it true that you have the biggest ego on the entire planet? Yeah. So, Dom, if you had to give up sex or playing the drums, which would it be? I think it's a bit like you actually get more sex because you play drums or play in the band. Either give both up or keep on doing both. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I think I'm nearly ready to leave this place. Let's just go and have a quick squids in the ladies' loo, see if we can find anyone interesting. What a sleaze! I thought you liked me! <laughs> Can you just say, my name is Tom and you are watching Pump TV? 
My name is Tom and you're watching Planet TV. You are watching Club TV. Hi! Hi, my name's Transformer! And who the hell are Pump TV? <laughs> Done with the Pump Television! Yeah. No!